Unbelievable. My dear, it's happening. He said, we plead for forgiveness. Osibanjo declares support for Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Uh, Yemi Osibanjo's group, some group that are with Yemi Osibanjo, have gone ahead to say they are supporting, they will support, um, you know, they will support Tinubu. Well, these are the group for Yemi Osibanjo. He has been unavoidably silent and quiet you know with all that is going on and it's high time we begin to real pay attention to what is going on okay so at the end of the day we can truly have you know we can truly have the kind of nation we all dream of you see the things that are going on everything that is happening if we do not rise to it and ensure that we have the right candidate as our leaders some persons will take advantage of what belongs to us and at the end of the day we may not be able to truly you know anticipate what may follow so please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details we plead for forgiveness Osiban just group declares support for Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu the political support group lawyer to the vice president Yemi Osibanjo has declared support for the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. The coordinator of one of the group identified as Dari Sharif Support Group and Hassan in a video which has gone viral on social media led the group to a meeting with Tinubu in Abuja on Wednesday. We plead for forgiveness, Osibanjo's group has said, we have come to plead our support and to say we will support you all the way through. The group lawyer to Yemi Osibanjo, saying they could not get the presidential ticket, have decided to come and join in with Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tenobo. He said in making this arrangement of three different support groups, the campaign for Yemi Osibanjo pro primaries we made consultation with our friends and our enemies all of them speak on one good quality about you and agree that you stood out you stood out being patient and the strength of whosoever offends you in the politics you forgive and move on speaking on the development Tinubu described the move as important saying there are there is nothing he does not have anything against Osibanjo and that there is nothing he, Tinubu, has against Yemi Osibanjo. If Osibanjo's support groups want to support him, he is happy and has received them. He stated, I've been here, I've been in this house after the primaries. I have seen him on day of goodwill message retreat organized by the president. I'm a man who forgives. The presidential candidate has earlier promised to work with everybody to make a better Nigeria. And so the support group has looked at it, saying that Osibanjo may not be going anywhere, have come to join on with Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. So this is the group who have come to join in with Tinubu, uh, saying that, um, you know, our brother may not have... Um, may not have done well uh, may not have done well during the primaries he may not have come up as the as the main guy but um, they now stand a chance to ensure that uh, at the end of the day nigerians get you know the best of leadership and nigeria becomes you know the country it needs to be so these are possibilities of what is going on uh, the group are saying that uh, we are joining you and we are ready we are ready we are going to give you our best we're going to give you our best all in all. We're going to make sure that we support you. We're going to support you. We're going to ensure that we support you. Well, people are making a political move, if you ask me. They're taking political move. And uh, what they are doing right now is that they are preparing themselves so that at the end of the day, you know, if anything, so that they can have, they can have some harvest. They are trying to sow because uh, the person that they were following, Yemi Osibanjo, did not get the party's, uh, you know, presidential ticket. And so if he, does, if he did not get it, that means their opportunity for politics anytime soon may not be achievable. And so what they have decided to do is to ensure that uh, they move on and bring, you know, Nigeria out of the, you know, they decided to move on and to get, you know, to get uh, some some assurance 
you know, some leverage. So they have come to stay with Ashiwa Dramay Bola Tinobu. So he has come to stay with him and to stay and to say, yes, we are working together. So at the end of the day, some appointments, some little contract here and there, because they can say, we supported you, didn't we? We made a public show, we came out. So this is what is happening. These are part of the things that are going on. Okay? These are part of the things that are going on. And in case you are not aware, Nigerians, we are here together to make a real decision. Okay? We are here together to make a real decision and ensure that at the end of the day, Nigeria becomes, okay, Nigeria becomes the nation we've all been anticipating for. If it's not going to happen, if we all sit back there and do nothing, it's not going to happen. The only thing that could possibly, you know, bring about the the change that we envisage in Nigeria is at this very crossroad, what we are supposed to do, we do it. The decision we're supposed to take, we take it unanimously, together as a people. Every one of us stand on the pedestal of truth and we make that decision together. Okay? So this is what is happening. Everyone is tasking the order to ensure that people are rising up and standing, you know, on, on where truth needs to be displayed and nobody is allowing the same thing over and over again. If there's anything called discipline, yeah, we all have to be disciplined at this time. It's not a time to go and collect money from anybody promising them that you will vote. It's not a time to do that. Too. You'll be shocked and surprised that hey, you will vote. You, it will not, it, nobody, nobody cares. Though. At the end of the day, they will, they will leave you. You'll be alone. You'll be alone, Nigerians. Will be alone and the road will be bad students will be home again so let's not uh, let's vote in the right candidate so it's not a time to be making a to be thinking about the decision and wondering if we are going to do this or we're going to do that let's tr let's tr sincerely truly you know come off what is happening right now and ensure that at the end of the day okay at the end of the day we are we are we are making real progress in all that is happening Remember that every one of us have got a duty and that is to speak out and not allow the same people over and over again to manipulate us into voting for them. Yes, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.